Hello, and welcome to episode 9 of Burns Banter, the podcast that takes a fresh look at the life and works of Robert Burns, hosted by myself, Alistair Turnbull. In this episode, I'm going to look at a very famous grace. It's called the Selkirk Grace, and it's said at many different events in Scotland, not just Burns Nights, but, you know, birthdays, weddings, funerals, family parties. It's a very well-used grace. Uh, I'm going to ask some questions about this grace. The first one being, did Robert Burns write the Selkirk Grace? After I've answered that question, we're going to look at a bit more of the history of the grace, and then I'm going to go over another couple of graces that, uh, that Robert's written, and then we'll finish this episode by reciting the version of the Selkirk Grace that Robert himself used. So, let's dive straight in and start asking the questions. Okay, the first question, the big one. Did Robert write the Selkirk Grace? Well, unfortunately, the answer to that is no. No, he didn't write it. Which brings us to the next question. Why do people think he did? Well, people think he wrote the grace because he used it often. It was his go-to grace. I mean, he was invited to a lot of dinners and events and stuff, and he was pretty much always asked to give grace and recite poems. And this is the grace he always used, the Selkirk grace. But unfortunately, this grace uh, had been around, well, not unfortunately, it had been around for about 80 to 100 years before Robert was uh, was even born. It was originally known as the Galloway grace or the Covenanter's grace. And as I say, he used it quite a lot. That brings us on to a third question. Why is it now known as the Selkirk grace? Well, that is because of a dinner uh, that Robert went to in 1794 in Kirkubri, in a place called the Heed Inn, I think it was, in Kirkubri High Street. And he, at this dinner, gave the grace. But there was a particularly special person at this dinner. There was a guy called Douglas Dunbar III. I think he was a third Earl of Selkirk. Now, I don't know what happened at this event and why it was so memorable, but ever since that day... This grace has now been known as the Selkirk grace. The Galloway grace and the Covenanters grace has been forgotten, but exactly the same grace is now called the Selkirk grace. So, that brings us to the graces themselves. The grace has three different versions. The original Lallans version, a slightly more modern version, and an ultra-modern version. Okay, so I'll read the first one to you just now. I'll read it from my book, Robert Burns' Food and Drink, which is available on Amazon. Here goes with the original version of the Selkirk Grace. Some hae meat and canna eat, and some would eat that want it. But we hae meat and we can eat, so let the Lord be thank it. The original in the old uh, Scottish dialect of Lallans. The second version, which is slightly more modern, and it goes like this. Some have meat and cannot eat. Some cannot eat that want it. But we have meat and we can eat. So let the Lord be thank it. And finally, there is the ultra-modern one, which I've heard a few times at events as well. And it goes like this. Some have meat and cannot eat. Some cannot eat that want it. But we have meat and we can eat. So let the Lord... Sorry. So to the Lord we give thanks. So that's the three versions. Which one of those did Burns use? Well, at the end of the episode, I'll tell you. As I said before, Robert gets invited to a lot of dinners and gives a lot of graces. So even although the Selkirk grace was his go-to grace, he did write other graces and say other graces for other meals. And one particular uh, evening, uh, he went to a place called the Globe Inn in Dumfries uh, with some friends, and it was off the cuff. The, 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 uh, The landlady and landlord didn't know they were coming, and they hadn't prepared any food for anyone. But Robert turned up with some friends and uh, the story goes that the landlord at the time was a guy called Jock Hislop and his wife was Jean Hislop 
and a Burns stand up with friends, as I said. And they gave Burns and his friends the meal that they had prepared for themselves, which was a top's head and feet. They're basically a sheep's head and sheep's feet. Doesn't sound very inviting, but that's what they prepared. So Burns gave this grace to them, just off the cuff. When he went into the Globe and he sat down with his friends and he made up this grace right here. And it goes like this. O Lord, when hunger pinches sore, do thou stand us instead and send us from thy bounteous store a top or weather head. Amen. A sheep's head, basically, that's what they've sent. And at the end of it, uh, to say thank you to Jock and his wife, Jean, she's also known as Meg, by the way, which is important for the second bit I'm going to read here. At the end of the meal, he said this to thank them. He said, O Lord, since we have feasted thus, which we so little merit, let Meg now take away the flesh and Jock bring in the spirit. There is one other grace I want to mention. Uh, this grace Robert uh, wrote uh, off the cuff at a, a meal in Dumfries. And the grace goes like this. O thou who kindly dost provide for every creature's want, we bless the God of nature wide for all thy goodness lent. And if it please thee, heavenly guide, may never worse be sent. But whether granted or denied, Lord bless us with content. As I said, he made that up at a dinner in Dumfries. Other than that, I don't know any more details. So, let's finish off this episode with the version of the Selkirk Grace that Robert himself used. Which one do you think it is? Do you think it's the ultra-original one? Do you think it's the semi-modern one or the ultra-modern one? Which one was he said to have used? Well, I can reveal in this exciting poll that a Robert Burns actually used the second version. Most of the time, anyway. He, he knew the original version of Lalins, but the version that Robert used was this one. Some have meat and cannot eat. Some cannot eat that want it. But we have meat and we can eat. So let the Lord be thank it. Now, I'm sure you're going to carry on to use the one that you like, but that's the one that Robert uh, used most often. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I hope you've learned some uh, new details about the Selkirk Grace. But most of all, I hope to see you again on the next episode of Burns Banter. So until then, Slanjavar.